Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Prox right here, and guys, we're back to another episode of the Mother 3 Let's Play, and if you guys missed out in the last episode, we are finally now all done up here with uh, Saturn Valley. We kind of rescued out on all the different Saturns, but we're still missing on one more boss that is here, and the boss is actually known as New Facade, and yes, we are going to be taking care of Facade uh, at some point here uh, in this episode, so that is going to be relatively crazy, so can't wait until that happens. Um, also, too, uh, I have been thinking about actually taking back on some the mementos and actually kind of helping us out uh, for a little bit but i think we should be okay because i actually did do a little bit of some off record grinding a little bit which i will show you guys in just in a little bit and also as well too i kind of did some upgrading with kumator as well because uh, if you actually don't know uh, that in Mother 3 over at Doria's place, you can actually get yourself some upgraded stuff for Kumator known as the Magic Gloves, which that will be a very big help on uh, on your offense and also defense uh, for when you actually uh, do any type of normal attacking, which that will be really helpful for that. Now, also, too, hope you guys are having yourself a good Monday out here because you guys will be seeing a back-to-back -back episode of Mother 3, of course, uh, like always. And uh, let's actually go and show you guys what has been happening since off recording. So, uh, first things first is that if we actually go and check out both uh, Kumator, Duster, and also Boney, you can actually see that we actually do have some saltwater guns. And yes, so basically, I believe New Facade is also part robot, so you can actually go and use saltwater guns to actual mechanical enemies. So that would be uh, somewhat of a very big help. Also, too, uh, in the process is that uh, make sure that you actually have yourself with the Shield Snatcher, of course, because that thing is going to be a blessing and a half. Uh, because with New Facade, I believe he actually does have a shield, so you do have to be a little bit careful. Uh, uh, for that type of fight as well uh, so it, it kind of sucks that unfortunately I didn't get to go and use the neutralizer in the earthbound series that I was doing because then that would have been a really big help against like the carbon dog and also uh, the um, and also uh, the, the other enemy that was over I believe at the um, Oh, I'm trying to remember, over at uh, Tenna Village, if I'm not mistaken, I think that there was a boss there over at Tenna Village, which we didn't really get to go and use the Neutralizer, because that would actually be been a really good enemy to actually go and uh, wipe away the shield off with that as well, but not to worry, because we're already finished off with the Earthbound series, so we're still here in the Mother 3 series, of course, so we still need to get all that finished. Oh, and also, too, before I forget, is that we actually do have the Magic Gloves set here onto Kumatora, and uh, also, as well, Prox is now at level 39, we also do have Kumatora at level 37, Dust is now at level 34 not at level 30 and we also do have Boney also at level 39 so not all that too bad uh, but now uh, we all all that we have to do right now for this part here is that off recording uh, or, or well, sorry not off recording but uh, last episode I was trying to figure out on exactly where we need to go all you have to do is just go and talk it over to this Saturn guy over here and he should actually lead us up uh, on to where we need to go uh, for our next part so far mountain above cliff uh, can go uh, uh, itty bitty wait uh, before going up so I believe this is where uh, all these different uh, Saturns are actually going to create their own ladder. Now, I, I think in the last episode, I kind of got a little bit screwed up uh, during the sign uh, th that was there uh, back over in, in the little cave section over here. Uh, because uh, it did say that that five uh, th that uh, th that five people may uh, may climb or something like that. And uh, and I guess that's what they're meaning by the uh, by the Saturns is because there is five different Saturns and they create like a, some sort of ladder. So I guess that's kind of a, a neat little uh, I guess hit on what we needed to do there so hmm, just a few more so uh, more will make us fall yeah but it seems like it's uh, all gonna be all for uh, duster up here because the only part that is only climbable is gonna be uh, that one little section right there now just also let you guys know uh, over here at this part is that once Duster actually starts uh, adding all their stuff up and, uh, and uh, making this climbable, unfortunately there's going to be no way that we can uh, go down from here because uh, uh, once everybody climbs up, uh, it's kind of it's kind of uh, unfortunate because we won't be able to go back to the hot spring anytime soon. So you want to make sure that you go and heal yourself up uh, and all that other good things uh, before you actually go and come to this area, or else you will be technically kind of screwed. So yeah, so all the Saturns have fallen down, and unfortunately there's no way to get back down, no. But there should be an actual save uh, frog somewhere around here, so let's just go ahead all the way up. And hopefully we can figure out where the save frog is. Ah, there he is. Hey, man. Now, also too, uh, I'll also go and show you guys how much money that I actually do have uh, in the bank right now. Uh, so let's actually go and show that off. Uh, do you need something? Yes. Uh, let's go and show off the DP stuff. So here we are. So this is 6,972 DP. Originally, I did have 8,000 DP, but I did spend out on the uh, saltwater guns because I just want to make sure to go and pick some of those up before we forget uh, to actually come up to this way. 
but we actually got some enemies that are actually going to be a little bit tricky uh these enemies of course are going to be of course i think at uh a little bit over past level 40 but we should still be in the clear uh facades are going to be at level 45 which that is going to be uh, a little bit scary but uh we should be all right so the boulder is blocking our way but how in the heck are we supposed to get this boulder out of here that's the question huh maybe we have to try and uh break it through with that no huh well that's a little bit strange i don't know how we're supposed to uh get that boulder out of the way here maybe there must be somebody to talk to uh sleep talking me sleep talking uh this is me sleep talking okay well anyways let's just go and uh rerun the letter from uh, Fy uh, uh phydra out here so uh phydra on the sign uh so let's read it so uh welcome i'm phydra i'm the sleeping majesty i assume that i'll be fast asleep uh, when you arrive so i'm leaving this letter here for you uh a little more serious detail oriented than the other majesties uh so hello good prox yeah uh, you uh, told me that uh, you'd be coming here so the dark dragon needle that your pull is the lake of lava up ahead uh i don't mind if you uh pull it while i'm asleep uh but it will mean that the time has come and i will disappear in my sleep uh, so there's a boulder blocking the path to the volcano you should give it some encouraging words uh well good luck all right so i guess we got some encouraging words so now we should be able to actually uh be able to use our telepathy and uh, be able to uh kind of get this bullet to move out of the way now there is a um a, a mole cricket here if you actually want to go and buy some other type of stuff if you want to uh but i don't really recommend on uh, buying anything from this mole cricket i don't really think there's anything too much of the start that you want to grab um yeah, there is some healing items if you want. Uh, recollection bell, which we don't really need. Fleet powder is also something that I don't think we really need either, because I don't think new facade doesn't really have anything of the sort that will actually send out fleas at us. So if that is, uh, then we may probably have to come back, but I'm pretty certain that we don't have to worry about that. So yeah, so let's go get some encouraging words out here. So Prox spoke with some encouraging words to the boulder. And now we can just use our telepathy and uh, basically move this boulder out of the way. So, again, we also have to do this with another thing as well, which uh, there should be another uh, boulder that should be up and coming. Uh, this one is a little bit tricky if you don't know how to do this properly, but uh, it should be fine. So, it's a horizontal boulder, and it won't bunch at all. Okay, so how about we go and move this guy over here to the side. And then this is a vertical boulder, so we can just go and move that there. And then we'll move that back. And I think also too, this is also gonna be a horizontal boulder, so it moves it like that. So yeah, that, it, it's kind of tricky if you don't know how to do it at first, but it, it really shouldn't be all that too much of a big problem. Hey, now we got some uh, uh, some of these enemies. Now, uh, these are the uh, Sky uh, Titan, uh, Sky uh, Titanies. Uh, I believe these guys have been uh, in Mother 1 before, but these guys actually do make uh, a, a reoccurrence uh, in this game. So that's actually pretty nice. Uh, these guys, I, I don't know how I'm going to actually do this. I guess we could just probably just go in an attack mode, I guess. Or maybe just suffer. Uh, you know what? Let's just go and just do some normal attacking out here. We'll see how much damage that this will do on this guy. He charged. Nice, we missed. Or he missed. Alright, just going to do some normal attacking out here for the time being. Hey, there we go. Not too shabby at all. And the Sky Tiny is down. Wow, but they actually do give us 946 EXP, so if you ever want to do some grinding, you guys can actually go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see what else we got. Got a pencil rocket. Oh, man. Awesome. Cool. Now, these guys are also new enemies as well, too. Uh, I don't think these are any type of uh, Mrs. Lava. I don't think that's really anything of the sort that, uh, that has been in other previous Mother games before, so this is probably a new one. Uh, now you just want to be careful with these because because uh, these guys are actually uh, somewhat of a problem. Now freeze actually does do a lot of damage, of course. All right, here we go. PK. Ooh, what was that? Gamma? Ouch! Oh man, we also got golfed in, in flames out here as well too. Oh. Come on, we could be able to just go and burn out Mrs. Lava. See you later. Wow, that was a little bit too scary right there. Jeez. Uh, hopefully that we're not still engulfed in flames. Okay, I think we're good for a little bit. <laughs> okay, so let's just keep on heading up from here. Get ourselves another present. Ooh. Double jerky. Nice. Always love to find out those healing items. 
Oh, here we go. I think this is also another battle with some more of these pig mask guys. And uh, if you haven't really got their uh, uh, back sprite yet, this is a perfect opportunity to actually go and grab them once again if you haven't done it. I don't think we haven't even gotten their back sprites yet, so that could be a thing that would be uh, very nice to actually go ahead and do. All right, here we go. Got some pig mask captains. All right, first things first, PK love. So uh, with some uh, free, or actually, sorry, PK fire beta, maybe. Oh man, one of my favorite musics from uh, Super Smash Bros. is right here. Uh, I had no invisible effect. Come on. That was a fire beam. Oh, he's gonna fire another beam at us. Ah. Gotta be super careful. Fire beta. Uh, is that gonna kill? Hopefully that. Oh, it does kill it. Oh. Okay. Maybe I'll try and defend down here. Because I would like to get the, the back sprites of this. And we'll go for attack mode. Guarding. No! Oh. I thought that this pig mask captain was still going to have a little bit more health, but unfortunately that's not going to be a thing at all. Ah, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to 100% complete everything, but if you actually do try to 100% complete everything, you will be able to go and speak on to a frog or something that will actually uh, give you some extra little tips and other stuff uh, to actually uh, do some other things with the battle memory itself, which I think that's pretty cool. Oh man, we actually got ourselves two of these guys this time around. Two Sky Tinies. We have to be super careful. Uh, freeze Beta, of course. Uh, let's go and hit his friend here. Nice. Go ahead and spin him around. Oh, it didn't work. Come on. Hypnosis. Whoa. He's gonna put us to sleep already. He charged. Ouch. Oh, uh, this is not good. Alright, PK Love Beta. Hopefully that kind of injures him. Okay, and then we'll just go off with some, some normal attacking out here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get his back spray for this one. There we go. Two Sky Tyanese are down, and that is how it works. Nice, and level 40, here we go. Nice. That's what I wanted to be at, just before we go and do anything else. Okay, guys, there's another item up here. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, should I really try and go for this item right now? I don't really... I think we're okay with the items that we already have right now. I'm just gonna kind of dodge out on most of these guys. Oh, we got a place in here. Oh, oh we got ourselves another new cave. Oh, got some new enemies out here. Uh, let me see here. I guess we could just go and try to hit him. Oh, we got ourselves Miss Lava and her core horse. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna set up for a freeze beta, probably on the fly there. I'm gonna set up for a siren beetle on you, and we'll probably just go and try to hit him as well. Ooh, he's gonna charge. Out. Come on, spin you around. Come on. There we go. Nice. We got ourselves some back spray out there for that one. Nice. Firefly is gone. And then we can just go and just start going out all out on this Mrs. Lava right here. There we go. Not too shabby. Wow, we're actually 13 minutes into this video and we're almost getting relatively close uh, to new facade, I think. Uh, we got some the bottom part down here. What the heck is this all about? Oh, we got some new enemies uh, for some reason. Oh, Kumatora is actually getting ourselves another uh, thing out here. Oh, we got some of these guys. We got some scamper mushrooms. Okay, now these guys are actually a little bit scary because these guys are actually uh, hit for multiple amount of attacks and uh, you want to make sure that you basically knock these guys out as quickly as possible because they are not going to be fun at all. So yeah, so combo attacks are really not good against these guys. Ah, there we go. We made you turn around. Thank God. Alright, we're going to try and burn these guys as quickly as possible or hopefully knocking these guys out easily. Yep, there we go. Alright, all good. Scamper and mushrooms are gone, and we also got the back sprite, and hey, nice. Duster's now at level 35. Oh, come on, move it! Oh. My god, dude. This is not good. Combo attack again. Ouch! Oh. There we go. Alright, at least we got him out of there. Wow, I guess we probably need to eat up some of our uh, double jerky out here. We got a beef one, though. I'll give that over to Boney. Nice. Uh, what else we have? Uh, we have some nut bread. Hey, I'll give that to Crocs. Let's up a little bit. Got some double jerky. Nice. Okay. Now we should be good a little bit. 
a salt water gun. All right, so that is another thing that is actually really nice. So at least we got ourselves another salt water gun out here. Okay, so that kind of helps us out with that section there. Uh, let's see what else we got. I don't think we ever seen a, a map yet, which I'm kind of I'm kind of concerned about because that would be nice if we found something like that around here, so that we could actually figure out where we're going. Oh, we got ourselves a new present. What is this all about? Oh, another farting box. Come on, man. Oh, there's a magic butterfly. Hey, don't mind if I do. We grab uh, some of our uh, sort of PP out here. So how good are we with our uh, with our stuff now? 86. That's not too bad. All right, and where are we gonna learn PK freeze gamma? Oh my God, yes. All right, now that's actually something really nice to actually go and pick up right now. For a fight with uh, with new facade, I think that may probably help us quite a bit right here. Nice. All right, so how good are we now with our stuff now? 94. So we're almost getting relatively close. We can like literally regain like most of our PP back if we're uh, lucky enough. Which I wouldn't mind doing. Since we are here. Alright. Nice. So that kind of helped us out. Maybe we'll do this one more at a time. And then we'll make a beeline as fast as possible. So that we don't have to worry about trying to battle out these fireflies. Alright. There we go. So I guess that will finish off with that there. And let's make a run for it. Go. Ah. Oh my goodness. We also got some new enemies out here as well too. Okay, let's go set that up. We got ourselves a freeze gamma. Uh, well, we're not gonna... We'll do a freeze beta, because those guys can actually get easily knocked out here. No problem. Uh, I guess since we also do have uh, some pencil rockets, we can probably kind of go and launch that out right now. Freeze some fire, ouch. Wow, okay, I guess that's like a fire beta, I guess, or fire uh, alpha. Ouch. Turn it around, dude. Get out of here, all of you. Come on, knock out these fireflies and everybody else that's here. Alright, here we go. That should actually do it right there. 299. And that takes care of everybody. Wow, that did a lot of insane damage right there. Okay, guys, so I am back. Uh, so I just had to just go through that little important phone call here, and uh, and I kind of uh, just skipped uh, right past through a, a, a few of the text out here, because I know that we're going to get right into uh, into the thick of things, uh, since we are going to be bowing out with the new facade, of course. Alright, so here we go. So let's see what he's got in store. So I'm sorry, I don't understand. Uh, uh, so he threw off, uh, off the Tower of Thunder, and here it goes on saying that the resulting shame, pain, and the woe of humiliating, very uh, humiliating, therefore, I will very much like to return the favor in full. And uh, it seems like the battle is always about to be getting uh, relatively soon out of here, so we can try and pull out this needle. So is that what uh, Fasa says? So now let us begin, kind sirs. I will show you a mature, grown-up uh, terribleness. And that terribleness is a very mature and grown-up terribleness, is what Fasa says. He also adds... Okay, and here we go. We encountered the new facade. All right, so first things first is that we're actually going to go and uh, life up away on Boney out here because I know that uh, we do need to keep Boney out here relatively well. Uh, here for this one, you actually want to, uh, I guess we're just going to go and just shoot him with a salt water gun, I guess, since that's what we literally have to start off with first. Uh, we're also going to go and make sure to go and uh, throw in a smoke bomb. You can actually go and make him cry. That is also another thing that you can actually go ahead and do here. Uh, this one in particular, you want to go and use up your shield snatcher because he does actually have a shield with him this time around. So there we go. So we're going to make him not cry. And we're also going to go and throw in a shield snatcher at him. So nice. So wow, he actually missed. Ouch! Oh, it was covered in fleas. Uh, so I didn't know that he was actually gonna have something that was gonna revolve around fleas. Uh, well, this is not good. Uh, so let's go and uh, make sure to go and set up for our own uh, salt water gun out here. Uh, we're gonna go and throw in another one. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go and make sure to go and throw in a scary mask so that you can go and kind of lower his uh, his stuff out here. Uh, we're gonna go and throw out another salt water gun. Yeah, we're gonna go all salt water gun on this guy out here. Oh, it didn't work. There we go, 140 damage right there. He's gonna charge. Nice, he missed. Nice, another 135 damage. Nice, 142. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's go and PK love him. I think since his shield is gone, we can now start going 
all crazy on him. Uh, so let's try to scary mask him once more, uh, and I think now we can probably just start going and just setting off our pencil rockets, because that's also another thing that we do actually have. Nice, 186. There we go, his offense is now decreased. That's what we're talking about. Found a whole bunch of beams. Whoa, multiple amount of attacks out here. Okay. Here we go, 239. PK freeze gamma. That actually does quite a bit. Okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on, dude. Uh, do we have a couple life noodles? Yes, we do. Okay, we're gonna set that up on Kumatora right away. Jeez. Okay, we have to make sure to go and set up on the yogurt as well, too. Alright, nice. Alright, couple of life wheels. Let's go and awaken up Kumatora. Instantly revived. Use a shield device. Oh, he's gonna bring back his shield. Great. Some, uh, some, uh, oh, wait, hold on. We actually do have a luxury banana. Uh, we got some. Oh, no. Oh, got her collapsed. Um. Oh, come on, dude. This is not good. Mediation. Mm. I don't know what else to go for, dude. Well, this is this. Oh, no! He had a luxury banana with him this whole entire time! Oh, no! Okay, this is not good. Oh, no, I didn't want to use the magic pendant. Oh, what am I doing? I'm, like, throwing my own moves. Um, okay, let's go throw a whole bunch of bombs. It's not good. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, attack already. Uh, recovery, life up, go. Alright, good job, Kubatora. Just keep on being steady right there. We one more attack. Uh, we'll go for another one. Alright, there we go. Just keep on attacking. Oh, come on, stop sacrificing our another luxury banana. Uh, this is not fun. Uh, come on. Freeze game, I'll go. There. Hopefully that does at least something out here. And then freeze game again. Come on, just take this guy out. It's just only Kumatori on us. Throw a whole bunch of other bombs at us. Oh, great. Yes! Alright, the facade's gone, dude. Woo! That was a really close one. I was just, like, throwing my own moves and, and screwing up a little bit. But there we go. We finally got it. Yes! Wow, we actually got ourselves an actual luxury banana from that as well, too. So nee -hee, followed by another nee -hee. And off new facade goes. Also, uh, facade says, I will humbly make you pay for this. And he says it was intense emotion. I believe it's an anger-filled emotion. Oh, man. Well, I think there may be a few parts, I think, uh, with that new facade fight, guys, that I may probably just potentially, uh, be kind of cutting some things out there. Because <laughs> that fight was just a little bit too intense. Alright, well here we are. We're 31 minutes in, but let's just go and pull this. Yes, let's just get this all done and over with here. Let's pull this needle. And there we go, guys. Our second needle has literally been pulled. I know that we've been uh, crossing on over, uh, like, literally four different needles, but two of the other needles have been pulled by somebody else, which, of course, one of them was by Claws. Or, well, I think two of them was by Claws, and then we had to go and pull out our own two out here. So there we go. Oh man, what is going on? Whoa, another another geyser thing going on? I think this is uh, unfortunately going to be the time where Figra, uh, where Figra is is going to literally disappear from here. Oh man. So something has awoken inside Prox, and we learned of the PK Love Gamma. Oh my god. Now we are going to be quite on fire now. We got ourselves PK Love Gamma, and there's Figra right there. So I guess we're going to get ourselves the memento out here as well since we actually do have uh, some inventory left. 
all right so let me just go and quickly fast forward through this because we don't really need to read all of this all that too much but uh just give me the memento and then we'll just literally be off from here so into your spirits so let me peer into your eyes so thank you thank you prox so i wrote down everything i just told you in this little secret notebook so take it with you uh, so there we go so we got ourselves Nigeria's notebook but uh oh here's another one the needle says to be sticking out out of the dark dragon's head Huh, so I can't seem to locate it at all, but now, uh, nor Locria should supposed to, uh, to protect that particular needle. So I'm, so I'm picky about details, yet I have no idea where they are. Having to disappear without finding out is a little sad, though. Uh, so please, uh, don't forget about me. So here's just a memento of me. So nice, here we go, another memento as well. So got ourselves two different things out here. Nice, I know that we actually do have enough, uh, inventory as well, so... And you want to make sure that you actually do have that uh, with your inventory empty on Lucas because uh, every memento that you always grab is always going to be in Lucas's inventory. And there we go, guys. So I'm going to go and end off this episode here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, in the next episode, we'll go and figure out where we're going to be finding uh, Noka Lyria. I think that's where her name is. Uh, then we have to go and find out where the next magician is going to be located. So I'll see you guys uh, when we actually go and uh, figure out where that is going to be. And I'll see you guys then. And peace.